This is the second revision of my AI-powered solar weeder. It drives around and uses image classification to look for weeds. When it finds one, it focuses this large Fresnel lens over the weed, lifts the lid, and uses the focus power of the sun to burn the weed where it stands. Now, it hosts its own Wi-Fi hotspot, so to control it, we just connect to the weeder Wi-Fi, navigate to its webpage, and tell it what to do from that webpage. In this section, we're going to wire up the Raspberry Pi and test out the basic functions of the weeder. Here's the wiring diagram that you've got to implement. Go ahead and hit pause here so you can take a look. Um, I chose to hook up a few wires at a time and then run the basic tests for each of those wires. So let's go through each group of wires that I hooked up and you can keep referring back to this or take a picture on your phone or whatever as you're hooking it up. This is the lid. This is the uh, tilt. This is the roll. And this is called swing. So if you imagine what the lens is doing here, it swings back and forth, it tilts up and down, and it rolls side to side. And then this one here doesn't actually control anything except the lid. When it, when it goes up, the lid goes up. So that's how you map those. And you can go ahead and plug all of those pins in. I'll go ahead and do that and then show you what it looks like. Okay, next quick demo, we've got the servo motors hooked up. We're gonna run the one that says dash dash motor lid. What that looks like over here is the lid opens. Hooray. Continuing on, if we wanna run swing, we should see this whole thing go left and right. There it goes, and there it goes. And then if we wanna see it tilt, this should lift and lower. And come right back to neutral. And then last is the roll command and that's going to take this back motor right here and tilt it side to side. It's going to take just a little bit to get everything loaded. But those wheels just went around but unfortunately this z-axis motor is actually running. That is not what we planned. So, um, clearly, I, I reversed the uh, wheel and Z-axis controller. This is why we do these tests, so let's get it fixed. Okay, we've got that uh, switched. We're going to run the exact same command. Turned on the, the motor wheels, and let's observe. They both go forward, they both go back. Now we go right turn and left turn. That is exactly what's supposed to happen. So we've got these motors set up correctly. Next video here, we're going to run the same thing, but we're going to do it on a Z-axis controller. So we're going to go ahead and run that. It should go up and then down. Go ahead and put your fingers on there, and you'll feel it move up briefly and then down briefly. If one of these sides is going down and then up, then you've just got to come over here to the motor controller where it connects in and switch the black and red wire. When you're hooking up these uh, sun tracker wires right here, you can do a quick indoor test before you take this thing outdoors. Now the way to look at this, if you're standing behind this, this is quadrant one here, quadrant two here, quadrant three here, and quadrant four here. And the uh, pins are six, zero, 13, and five. So pins six, zero, 13, and five are how those are hooked up. Now you, you got them all hooked up here. You got the power and ground hooked up to your 3.3 volt uh, DC buck regulator and you want to test this. So the easiest thing to do is take a small screwdriver like this and you can actually control the uh, potentiometer output. So watch this, as I go clockwise, that light comes on. As I go clockwise, it turns off. So you want to make these so that they're all turned off indoors um, and then you can use a flashlight like this one to turn them on. So you can actually control which of these things are getting light with a flashlight. So what you're going to do is head over to your uh, dough here 
and you're going to run the sun tracker script. Now that'll start outputting zeros and ones that'll show you which quadrants it thinks are lit up. And it will also actually move. So you see here it's moving backwards. Here, when I shine it over on the left side, it's moving so that it would face the sun over there. If I put it in the front here, it's gonna attempt to go that direction. And then if I put it overhead over all four of them, so that they all four light up simultaneously. Oh, if I can get my, there we go. All four of them lit up. The output over here in your log file shows ones in all of the quadrants. So that's a way for you to make sure that you have those pins hooked up correctly. You'll actually see this thing move toward the light in uh, whatever, uh, you know, when you shine a flashlight at it. So here you are, you've connected to uh, your Weeder Wi-Fi. Um, you're gonna go down to take test, take a photo, and uh, submit a query here. Uh, your weeder is going to go to the left and to the right, which is just it uh, taking three different photos, one to the left, one to the right. And when it's all done, you're going to pop over here into the um, weeder.local without the slash run. This is all of the uh, tests that have been run. And if we pop into this bottom log file here, you can see there's just three photos, uh, JPEGs that are taken out there. And all it's gonna be is a photo of what's directly below your weeder at the moment. So not, not a terribly interesting photo, it's the floor. But um, this shows you that the camera has been connected properly and can take photos. Now you're ready to move on to the next part. This thing will go through uh, a set of tests where it tries every combination it can think of, forward, back, side, side, up, down, etc. So it will run through all the extremities of every one of these motors. And that's useful to make sure that, you know, when this lid opens, for example, at the end of all these various movements, it doesn't somehow catch on something. Um, this will make sure that, you know, it can operate independently and never have any problems. So I'll let it run through the full sequence after you've done each one of those basic motions.